And Fort Peck tribal leaders say they don't expect to see Yellowstone bison sent to their reservation before the end of the year. MTN's John Shearer reports from Yellowstone National Park. For decades, Yellowstone has struggled with how to control its bison population. Some are killed by state and tribal hunters every winter as they try to leave the park in search of food. But hundreds of others are captured and sent to slaughter. This has led tribal officials and even former Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer to attempt to relocate some of the animals to Fort Peck tribal lands. We're very frustrated. The Fort Peck tribes have spent over a million dollars on this effort, um, and that's their demonstrated commitment to preserving Yellowstone bison for the genetics. Yellowstone bison are some of the only bison in the world known to have pure genetic lineage to the historic bison that once roamed the North American plains by the millions. There is a stone wall um, to get live bison out of the park and two tribes. At a meeting of the Interagency Bison Management Plan partners, Mike Honeycutt, the chief executive of the Montana Department of Livestock, said the state is eager to set up a pipeline to move bison from the park to the tribes. But it wants to make sure all federal requirements are met. Tribal officials claim those requirements keep changing. We've heard from some local sources that those animals have been in quarantine long enough that they can be certified disease-free by the state of Montana and allowed to enter the state legally. But we're hearing from Washington, D.C. that um, they need additional testing. And they're really handling this out of Washington, D.C. Ryan Clark with the Federal Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service says there is little communication he gets from his superiors in Washington where the final decisions on moving the animals will be made. The actual maintenance of those animals in a separate pasture completely away from the rest of the herd would be costly. State and federal officials say the concern is that the bison could transmit brucellosis to cattle that causes fetuses to abort. APHIS says that in Wyoming and North Dakota, bison have been known to transmit the disease to cattle. But in the greater Yellowstone area, only elk have been known to share that disease with cattle herds. In Yellowstone National Park, I'm John Shearer for MTN News. Now both APHIS and National Park facilities built to hold the bison quarantine are filled to capacity. That means if bison wander out of the park and search for food this winter, they will have to be sent to slaughter since there's nowhere to house them.